Tonight, we celebrate the birth of the one who is the light of the world. We worship God, the creator, the Christ born in Bethlehem, and the comforter who sustains us always. Let the heavens and earth rejoice. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, every one into his own city. And Joseph went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David. To be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone right about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. For unto you this day in the city of David a Savior is born, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, that ye shall find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, and it was told unto them. I believe in the beauty of the gospel begun in Bethlehem. I believe in the one whose spirit glorified a little town. I believe in the one for whom there was no room at the inn. I believe in the one whose cradle was a mother's arms, whose home had love for its only wealth, who looked at people through God's eyes, and who lifted human weakness to meet the strength of God. I believe in Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God, born in Bethlehem this night, in him and through him comes God's gift of new life for all people. On this holy day, when we remember the birth of Jesus, we also are mindful of the rest of his story, which includes the night when he met with his disciples for a final meal before his arrest crucifixion, and then triumphant resurrection. This is the feast of the victory of our God, and this table is open to all who come seeking peace within themselves, with one another, and with the divine. Let us share the peace of Christ. Peace of Christ be with you. Peace be with you. God be with you. And, and also, also with you. you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to, to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to God Most High. It is, it is right, right to, to give, give God, God thanks and, and praise. praise. Blessed are you, holy God, with all who know you and all who love you. We join the endless refrain. Holy, 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 holy 
God of love and majesty, the whole universe sings of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And on the night that he was betrayed, he took the bread, and after giving thanks, he broke it and said to the disciples, Take, eat, this is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. The body of Christ given for you. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and said, Drink of this, all of you, for this cup is the new covenant in my blood, given and shed for you, for the remission of your sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. As we minister to you in the name and spirit of the living Christ, we share with you this cup of blessing.
Let us give thanks to God in union with the faithful everywhere. We thank you, God, for life in the spirit of the living Christ, for gladness in this bread and cup, for love that cannot die, for peace that the world cannot give nor take away, for the glory of creation and for the mission of justice that we can make our own. Fill us with the gifts of this sacrament. Oneness, oneness of heart, love and forgiveness offered and accepted, the will to serve and the willingness to grow. In your, your holy name, name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Now may God bless and keep us. May God's face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May God lift up the light of divine countenance upon us and grant us peace. Go in peace and with joy. Amen.